extra, extra for a whole decade, but since leaving in 2009, she's taken on a whole new challenge, creating her athletic fashion line. And uh, again, hello, uh, Dana. It's so nice to have you. Dana Yay. Devin is with us. Thank you. So, yeah. And you look fabulous in your Thank you. I, and I could wear it just every day. Yes, it's you beautiful. could. <laughs> yes, That's chic. and I will hook you up. Because I, I know, I think I know <laughs> You people. too. You yeah. would look really, really good in a leopard. Oh, my I God. I have them on right now. Not Under, yeah. Anybody. Underneath. Because they're compression, yeah. Let, let's, I want to go back, though, first of all, because you struggled with body image in a, oh, yeah. in a town like this. Well, in L.A., who doesn't? Yeah, but that's yes. true. It's yes. not uncommon. But it's not something that you can just sort of get through. Yours was post baby. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, two I, babies, right? look, I struggled with my weight ever since I was 13. Like, we didn't, yeah. we didn't, like, fitness wasn't a big part of our family life and whatever. And so then, you know, I yo yoed up and down, up and down. But then I moved to LA. And what you think is like normal in other parts of the country, you were like, a lard in LA. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, I really got to get serious. And then you're standing up, you know, you're standing up on camera and whatever. And then I had a baby. And what I could somewhat kind of control before was like, forget it, you sure. know, forget it. Yeah. So I would lay down at night and my stomach would like pool next to me in the bed. <laughs> it's like a friend, you know, I had someone to sleep with. And um, no, and I just noticed my body was just going to hell in a handbasket, sorry. So and so I just had to fix it. I had to do but something. But what, what was the like the aha moment for you where you said I need to do something? Was this your friend by your side there, or what was it? <laughs> there must have been a moment where you said enough. I was 38, so I was looking down the barrel at 40, and I was like, if this is as good as it is right now, this ain't good. So I better do something, somehow, some way. And so I woke myself at 4:15. I'll never forget this. 4:15 in the morning, and I went to Barry's boot camp. I don't know if you guys are familiar oh, gosh, with that. It's so hard. It's so hard. Oh my God. The first day I was like, I'm gonna vomit. Where do I vomit? Where do I vomit? I was planning where I was gonna vomit, <laughs> and. I started doing that, and I and I never liked exercise before. Still didn't. I just did it because you had to to get results. Yeah, but you would, you, you could have just rode the stationary bike. I mean, you went after Barry's. Boot I've camp. decided I'm the kind of girl that has to have a class. I have to have someone yeah. telling me what to do, or I'll just check my phone. I'll you know right. the, yeah. whatever. I'll do something. I have to have someone telling me what to do. And Barry is tells you what to do. Yeah. So yeah. So how did that lead to this active wear that you have out? So I was working out all the time. I wasn't working at Extra anymore. I took some time off and you know, I had time to work out. And so then I was like looking around for workout wear and I was like, really, this is it? Like it was, there was a lot of redundancy out there. There was, I was like, there's not a lot of fashion in fitness. Mm -hmm. And I started, I started doing my own stuff. So I'd go downtown and I'd buy these like $6 leggings. I'd buy these vintage t-shirts and I'd cut them up. And people were like, oh my God, I love that t-shirt. Where'd you so get it? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So I was like, well, maybe. And so I just jumped in and sure. my husband, there were times my husband was like, really like, I'm, I'm going to divorce you. Like, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> but it's, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. It's the most expensive thing I've ever done. But it's, it's hard crazy. because you're trying to fit into a market that is so overcrowded. What makes yours different than the other active wear? Well, you know, first of all, I had a heavy, heavy influence on, on fashion. I literally watched Prada, the Prada runways, yeah. and then I took those things and adapted them to fitness wear. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to just be about fitness. Like most everything I did was pieces that I wear this out at night with yeah. leather leggings and booties and, and I wear most pieces. There's obviously some really fitness oriented pieces, but most pieces you could wear out at night or to right. lunch sure. or whatever. Well, we got a great fashion show lined yes. up. We yes. can show everybody exactly what you're let's talking start. about. So let's check it out. Uh, up first Erica. is Erica. Uh, first. Hey, Erica. On, look Yay, up. look oh. at her. Erica's okay, a producer here digging. on the show. So the Erica's color. got on our um, it's a cinch workout pant in snakeskin, and she's got on our old school hoodie, which you know it's got the the hood or not, and she's got the high and tight sports bra on, which does exactly what it says, high and tight. Yeah, okay. right. You look so good. Thank you. Thank so you good. Is it comfortable? You like it? Oh, it's so comfortable. Good. I right. love that. Up next Thank you. is our lovely assistant, Gabby. Hi, oh, Gabby. You look so cute. This is one of those examples of something that I I've worn this out, you know, with jeans and okay. like boyfriend jeans at night with heels and whatever. Like I didn't want it to just be about, yeah. you know, fitness. But she's got the also the high and tight sports bra. This is the off the shoulder lace tee. And these are the double treble layered short, which I love because it's got this little double layer under there. Mm. So if you're in yoga, you're not worrying about who's looking up Lady Town. Yeah. You know, you're protected. <laughs> you know, you got it all covered. And you look so cute in this with yeah. your coloring and everything. I love the you lace look adorable. Top. I love it. It's very lightweight. It doesn't, it, it feels like Kleenex actually when you're wearing it. You're almost you like, oh my God, did I forget a shirt? You, you could know, probably which run happens. some errands twice as fast in that That's what for I'm Christina. Yeah. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. Oh, you're all. 
Uh, up next is Lily, Lily, who also is part of our family. Lily. Oh, Lily. These are my go-tos. Like, I literally have worn these these leopard leggings. These are the leopard banded capris so much. I'm, my husband's like, they're going to grow. They're going to, like, merge to your skin if you don't stop it. But um, these are a leopard banded capri. And then she has the, do you mind if I kind of show your jacket? Monica. This is the hard to please jacket. And then she has the hole in one top. And again, like, I've worn this under a blazer. I had a leather jacket I wore it under. I've worn these with riding boots and, you know, out at night with a sweater. So my whole point is it should it should transcend mm -hmm. just a gym. And I love the ones that you have on too. I love lace. Thank you. Lace These are the It's a Cinch in lace and this is the two mesh bomber jacket. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Bring everybody you. out yeah. as they come out. You have a little something for our viewers, I understand. Yes. Oh my gosh. If you go onto the Home and Family Facebook page, then we actually have, you have a chance to win a $100 gift card to Dana Devon. And oh, really? we'll do that. And there's also a promo code for 10% for off. That's so fantastic. make sure you sign up and register. We will. Thank you. And for all of these looks, you can visit DanaDevon.com. And you can follow her on Instagram at Dana Devon. So, all again, right. Thank Coming you. up next. Thank you, ladies. Come